you start in a I really like like deep house or soulful house. Mm. I feel like oh mm -hmm. shit. I'm a kind of second generation or third generation of Japan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Today we have an uh, incredible guest, uh, he called Hiro, um, his name Hiro, Hiroyuki, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. from Japan and uh, now we talking about something uh, yeah. maybe about dance about life maybe yes <laughs> yeah. okay yes and drinking tea <laughs> nice. chilling chilling yeah no yes. problem okay <clears throat> mm. Mm? nice chinese pool <laughs> chinese pool Classic for China. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, first of all, I want to say uh, some. When I start dance mm -hmm. house, mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. I show, I watch your mm -hmm. video. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, it, maybe it was a uh, 2005 mm. or 2006 in Jus de mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. It you really inspire me mm -hmm. on dancing house. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. It's uh, and now you in my city. <laughs> it's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> yeah. Finally. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. No, thank you. Thank you for yeah. having me. Yes. <clears throat> And thanks, uh, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> yes. She do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she made it. Yeah, she made it. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, thank you. Uh, I have one question yeah. uh, about your when you start dance, mm. and first year, first dance uh, style mm -hmm. is house or not? I um, think it's b-boying. No, it's a uh, hip hop. Ah, hip hop. I, st I start with the hip hop when I was fifteen, mm -hmm. when I was in a junior high school, uh -huh. and uh, I was watching a TV show in Japan, mm -hmm. and the Japanese the idol groups is called Zoo, so they dancing kind of hip hop dance. So I was watching the TV and I feel like, oh, this is really cool. So I want to try it. Mm -hmm. And also that's around the, the same time in Japan, we have some of uh, the TV programs about the dance. Mm -hmm. So we always watch and uh, actually I wanted to do the b-boying. I was really want to do b-boying, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm originally from the really countryside of Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, in my hometown, like no one dance. And I just found the, the people, the next city, they already dance. They have some group, but these people doing only popping and locking. Like mm -hmm. nobody doing b-boying. So nobody teach me how to do it. So ah. I was trying to get it, but I couldn't make it. So that's why I, I gave up. So I just start with the hip hop and yeah. Ah, okay, I understand. Um, but I think uh, it was a b boying. Ah, uh, yes. I, I mean, <laughs> no, I, yeah, no I was trying, you know, yeah, because I really right. love to watch the b boying, and uh, I really want to get it. Mm -hmm. So I practice some of the moves from the b boying. Yes, yes. Yeah. Hip hop dance. Um, I know um, uh, Japanese dancers is. Um, Really, mm. 
different styles, mm. dancing different styles, mm. like one person mm. dancing, locking, popping, maybe something. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, what do you think? Uh, it's uh, it's good for a dancer or I don't know. Uh, I think maybe I think maybe it's it's all good to try with the different styles. Actually, Japanese dancers each each of us we have a special categories mm. like like I do house, but also we have many opportunity to do showcase for the performance. So of course we have to do the choreograph for locking, popping, b-bong, something like this. So in general, the most of the dancers, at least they can do the basics of each stars. Then uh, we covered it up for each other. So we share sometimes with different style mm -hmm. people. So we mm -hmm. practice together and we cover all the skills and also like inspiring for each other. So, which is, is very good. I think maybe the, you know, the Japanese or Asian dancers, they are really good for the synchronize. Yeah. Yeah, they I cooperate understand. with the people. So that mm -hmm. helps a lot. Yeah, it's like a exchange. Yes, yes? exchange, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Um, Japanese dancers is really strong. Mm. Yes, I watch uh, every, every dancer, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, for me, it's really creative mm. um, in a, in a uh, different styles. Mm -hmm. B-boying, locking, popper, popping. Mm -hmm. Do you think about Russian uh, dancers, mm. Russian house dancers, uh, or other uh, dancers? Or, yeah, right? sure. Uh, for me, my first impression of Russian dancers is very strong uh -huh. as a mentality. Like mm. their mentality mm -hmm. is so strong. Um, it seems like they're like really warriors, like uh -huh. fighters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> this is what I feel. When yeah, I see it the first time, Russian spirit. Yeah, Russian spirit. <laughs> yes, yes, really like, uh, really like serious about mm -hmm. the battle or mm -hmm. dance, and really physically this strong. And uh, yeah, this is my impression. But the, it's also uh, I can see, um, I see many Russian dancers from past till now. I think maybe. The Russian level is very growing up, mm -hmm, yeah, improving mm -hmm. to yeah, be like more strong, like you know, 
and also understanding more about dancing and it's so incredible yeah yeah i think it's influenced uh, other countries mm, yeah mm, in the mm. usa in japan too yes yes yeah. yes sure but i can feel like of course the america and maybe asia like japan china korea and and europe but yeah i can feel mostly when we see when we talk about european it's like always talking about france or germany italy and all this but russia is always came up in the topic mm -hmm, if it's mm -hmm. if we say european mm -hmm. always russian dancers the name is showing up so that means russia have the good like strong community for the dancing scene in the world yeah, yeah i feel that yes Mm. <clears throat> and I want to ask you uh, about uh, theater. Mm, theater. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, how many uh, dancing theater in Japan? Maybe you dancing in a, a, some theater? Uh, you do big performance or? Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, I think maybe this is the one of the unique uh, situation for Japan. Uh, we have we have not so many theaters, mm -hmm. but we have like small stages. So many people doing the kind of theater show, in, mm -hmm. not in the theater. Sometimes we doing a, like a theater show or in the hall on the stage. It's mm -hmm. not like theater theater, mm -hmm. yeah. but still we have many opportunity to do this kind of stuff. And the many people doing mix with, of course, of course it's the actors and also musicians and the modern dancers like ballet, contemporary, mm -hmm, all these people. Mm -hmm. And also mixed up with street dance sometimes. But for me, Japan is not so many, so many times we do compared to other countries, compared mm -hmm. to the Europeans. Because I know Europe countries like they sometimes they have to do the performance in the theater as yeah. a street dancer because this is the only for the performance. Yeah. But Japanese community or Japanese dance scene is kind of unique because we have so many events going on mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we have like normal, it's called showcase. So we perform in the club. There's no, no concept, not theater uh, concept. Mm -hmm. We just don't perform. Ah, okay, yeah. I understood. So this is like mm -hmm. our main field to perform. So that's why Actually, we don't need to do the theater show. Mm -hmm. Actually, we can make the money by this showcase. And also we can also like, we can do whatever we want. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're doing theater, you have to make the concept and mm -hmm. you have to yeah. follow the stories and all this. But for us, like if we do showcase, there's no concept. Like anything what we want to do, we can do it. Yeah, just dance. Yeah, just yeah. dance. Yeah. So that's why uh, I think maybe it's a very unique situation. But I think maybe this is also good. But this is how the Japanese community is grown because mm -hmm. of the showcase culture. Because we we practice for freestyling, but also we practice for the performance, which is making the routines or making the combo with friends and creating something like technique for 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 main categories. So which is so that's why like we can we came up with many ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, like for example, like if we do two on two battle or crew battle, always Japanese crew have many routines. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is this is like what we get used to. You know, we do it like almost every day in the studio, practice together, yeah, yeah, making yeah. ideas. So if we do in the theater show, maybe like they are not accept to do this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So we just have to do some contemporary way or something like this. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we don't need to do. I, mm -hmm. I, I had experience to do the theater show only, only a few times in mm. Japan. Yeah. Actually, like I do and it was so interesting. Uh, but it's, it, was, it was not my main thing um, to do this. But actually it was very inspiring with Ballet dancer, contemporary tap, and you know all these different kind of dancers. Also, yeah. like it's good, inspiring. But yeah, 
Well, in Russia, mm. same situation. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because uh, I know a one or two uh, theater mm. uh, doing some some spectacles, mm. yeah, and uh, and all. Mm. Um, but it, it is interesting thing, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Not only perform performance mm. uh, show mm. and just, um, but theater it's like a little bit more than performance. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Because they, uh, we put in, we have to put in extreme like story or yeah, uh, sure. entertainment and all this. But Japanese the showcase style is like maximum is like maybe five minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we mm -hmm. just do, we just play the music and we make the routine and do it and freestyling inside mm -hmm. and end mm -hmm. up. It's like each team's performing like five minutes each. Actually like we do this kind of showcase event almost every night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and still it's going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm living in Tokyo. Tokyo, almost like every night we have a showcase event in mm -hmm. the club. Like many teams is performing. Yeah. So I think maybe this is also, uh, uh, actually I've never seen this kind of event in the other countries. Yeah, only in Japan, maybe, maybe Korea sometimes, but mostly Japan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Japan dancers have a real, really strong level. Mm. Yes, and if um, we, if we, you do theater, it's incredible. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> story. Yeah. You know? Yes. Yes. Like. Pff, yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Only... I think about it, but mm. Mm, we you... do only sometimes. But actually, it's for the quality of the theater show from us, it's pretty good. But it's also it's hard to get at the audience because mm -hmm. sometimes like normal people, they want to see really like, OK, classical ballet or something like modern stuff. So people are not really interesting to see something new stuff. Mm -hmm. So always like it's 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 kind of difficult. And also, I think maybe this is the also another problem about this because uh, maybe Russia is the same, but Japan have so many studios, like so many teachers and so many students, right? So many dancers, uh, many people are doing the dancing. So that's why, like, for example, if we have a theater show, we don't have to sell in the ticket mm -hmm. because all the students is come to support to mm -hmm. watch mm -hmm. but actually this situation is which is good because we don't lose any money we got the audience but it's not the new people it's like always like it's already these people they already know about mm -hmm. our dance so they just come to for support which is good but for the theater things maybe we have to do this in for the future that means we have to get the more new people to come in to watch but mm -hmm. actually we only get the full of the people from the students, it's already, so we, we cannot promote. I mean, we don't need to promote more. So I think yeah. maybe this is a situation also Japan have. Mm. Yeah, we need the right promote, promoter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think yeah. so, yes, yeah. I think so. In the Europe, uh, different situation, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think so, yeah. yeah.
Oh, when you start dancing uh, house? Uh, actually, I... In Japan, uh, in the beginning of 90s, mm -hmm. we already know about house. Mm -hmm. Because some of the first generation of the house dance in Japan, so they visit New York, they learn, and they bring it back. So it's already we have a house shows uh, in the beginning of 90s. Mm -hmm. So I was watching and I already know the house and some of my friends, they start doing house. But I'm the only one I didn't do house because I hate house music. <laughs> when I start, Come on. <laughs> when, I, when I first listen to the house music, mm -hmm. I really hate it because uh, um, when I start dancing, I also I start uh, DJing too mm -hmm. for hip hop. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I was DJing for the hip hop, and uh, I do DJing in a discotheque, mm -hmm. in disco. Yeah. So I'm always like I'm a hip hop lover, so I'm always playing hip hop. But mm -hmm. when I switch to the different DJ, so they start to playing house. But house is for like for just for party. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not dancing. Understood. So always. When I'm in the craft, the, for the house time is for us. It's it's nothing to do, you know. It's yeah. boring time. It's like boring. You go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something like <laughs> yes. that. So that's why, like, I really don't like. I really don't understand about house. And but when I visit to New York, when I was 16 and when I was 18, and when I was 20, I moved to New York. So mm -hmm. I've been like there three times, and. I was lucky I can get it to the house club for the second time, second visit. And I was in the club and house and the, my image is totally changed because they have so many ciphers mm -hmm. inside the house club. Mm -hmm. Like house dancers against b-boys. Mm -hmm. They're making cipher. Yeah. And the energy was like so hype. And I was like, oh shit. It's like the image of the house is totally different yeah. than in Japan so I decide okay so let me try to do the house now so then I try to start doing house dance and after I moved to New York I really switched to the house because when the time was, was end of 90s the hip-hop music has been changed a little bit and dance star trend of the hip-hop is mm -hmm. also a little bit changed because mm -hmm. before it was like if we call middle school mm -hmm. like bounce and yes yeah, yes yeah. So since, I mean, around that time, people start doing like tutting and mm -hmm, all this mm -hmm. kind of conceptual like dance. So I feel like a little bit like I feel boring about mm -hmm. hip hop mm -hmm. dance because I used to dance like this, but now like nobody doing like this. Oh, then yeah. I see house, the house was like people doing this, like really, you know, it's free. So I was like, oh, okay, so this is what I want. So mm -hmm. then I really switched to the house. And yeah, since then I I keep focus in the house. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, you start in the uh, 19th, right? Uh, then dancing house. Dancing house. Yes, I start dancing houses 1995 or six. Yeah. 1995. No. Yeah. I think it. Mm. <laughs> I think about it. yeah. Uh, did you like Afro House music? <laughs> uh, yes, yeah. uh, as a music, I really like. But for dancing, <laughs> maybe I'm, I'm not. It's good not at, your. Yeah, I'm not good at. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. yes. I can feel, but I don't know how to express mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it seems like it started became like a form mm -hmm. of the Afro House. Like mm -hmm. if we listen to the house or Afro house, we have to do we have to do something with the Afro feeling. Mm -hmm. Actually, like, yeah. I always telling to the student and I'm um, always telling to the people. Uh, of course, I can do. Maybe I can try, but it seems like it's really. Uh, it's funny, you know, mm -hmm. because I'm Asian. If I'm mm -hmm. trying to do like Afro feeling, yeah, yeah, like try to imitate. Of course, it's good. For challenging or it's like mm -hmm. for respecting this, but it's not that came from our heart. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can find some something the different way.
to express, but uh, it's still it's it, 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 it feels hard, you know, mm -hmm. for us to find out what is yeah, fit. I, I mm. understood this. Mm. Yeah, I really like like deep house or soulful house mm -hmm. because uh, this is what really I like in the mm -hmm. craft most, and also like the. New York or Japan, like they play in this kind of stuff. So I can feel it really, you know, with this. Afro House is also it's coming new and really good, you know, tribal stuff and, you know, we can feel, but. Yeah. Uh, one of part uh, house music, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, you know, we can dance yeah. in the club, but it's not uh, like, for example, if, if it's a battle, we have to dance for the Afro House and I really struggle. Mm. I feel like, oh mm -hmm. shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I understood, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Remember um, first house dancers in Japan? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, who is it? Uh, the first guy is called Koji. Koji. Yeah, Koji. He's uh, now is 56 years old. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, actually, like Koji is like one of like my crew leader. Mm -hmm. So my crew is called Arma. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, I know. Koji, Hiroshi, Pino, and me. So, Pino too, yeah, right? Pino oh, too, yeah. yeah. And Koji, Koji san is the uh, oldest and mm. he's a leader. Mm -hmm. And also like, he's the one who bring the house to the Japan. Mm. Yeah, like early 90s. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, good. Mm. I know um, after you say uh, street dancing, mm. Traveling to Japan. Yes. Yes. First of all. Yeah. First of all. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I and so. after. Yeah. In a year. Or, out. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I think so. Yes. Because. Uh, you smell flavor first. Yeah. <laughs> uh, after. After. 
I mean, American guys. Yeah, I mean, like, after, like, after for a while, I tried to start to digging mm -hmm. about the history of the mm -hmm. Japanese street dance also. And uh, I was doing kind of interview, like same interview like this, and to the older generation, to Japan. Mm -hmm. So then slowly I can understand why the Japan have so long history about this. And it's a, it's a two side, it's a two side, two, two stories. Is mm -hmm. One is, I think maybe this is like, a, this is a timing for everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, middle of the 80s. So before the middle of the 80s or after the middle of the 80s. So yeah. Japan have this history before the middle of the 80s. So that's why Japan have so long history about street dance. Yeah. So most of the countries, they start having the hip hop culture after the middle of the 80s because of the movies, because of the break dance and all this. So all the trend of the hip hop is spread out to the world is after this movie came out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So before that, only only few people, you know, knows about this. And but Japan, before that movement come, people already know about the street dance because uh, because of the Soul Train, that the TV Soul Train, and also disco, and also it's a U.S. Uh, Navy and Army, mm -hmm. like all mm -hmm. the military base, yeah. yeah. Because after after we finished the Second World War War Two, uh, U.S. the government they make the many military base everywhere mm -hmm. in Japan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So each city uh, have to take care of the U.S. people as a like normal life. So they start having the discotheque mm. to, you know, to play the music and also like, you know, something like this in the mm. party or no. So they bring the, all the trend from the U.S. and communicate with the Japanese people, local Japanese people. So they start teaching the oh, dancing yeah. and the culture. So this mm. spread out, That's, that was 70s already. And and especially the Kyushu, Kyushu Island. So we have mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. the place called Kyushu Island. It's a south, like big island in Japan. So the Kyushu Island, they have many military base, US military base. And also they're kind of the rich because they're the countryside. They can save the money. Yeah. So the many discotheque owner, they are the rich after the war. Mm -hmm. So that's why they start to bring the actually soul trained dancers to come into Japan to perform. Ah. So they invite these people to let them stay and doing performance. So including Tony Gogo too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that's why he started living in Kyushu Island. Uh -huh. So that's why the Kyushu Fukuoka, the city is became like uh, really strong about the locking. Foundation. Mm -hmm. I know about Fukuoka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because he started to spread out about the locking, so that's why like already it's the end of 70s they have the locking community. Mm -hmm. And also around a uh, little bit for a while after that, uh, Osaka people, they start to bring uh, the Ski de la Vite and the Popping Pete, like uh, Bugaroos. So they, they start inviting them to come to teach the popping. So that's why Osaka is very strong about mm. the pop thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you know, Okinawa. Yeah. yeah. Okinawa is like really mixed culture mm -hmm. between the US military because they have so many US people living there. So I think maybe this culture is exchange. So that's why they're really strong with b born <laughs> You know, basically the Okinawa yeah. was b born country. And after that, pop knocking is also started getting strong because it's old school, because the influence from like back in the days. I think maybe Tokyo is also we have a community but all the influence from this, con this city is coming to Tokyo later. Mm -hmm. But Tokyo is just like really capital, the city. Yeah. So it's like we always following the trend. So that's why new school is very popular for the Tokyo. So hip hop, house, you know, all this. So that's why we got the like long history. Yeah, and it's good. Yeah, yeah. So 
we are lucky. I'm I'm lucky because I'm a kind of second generation or third generation of Japan. Mm-hmm. So when we already start, almost we know everything about the information of street dance. Yeah. Yeah. So we are so lucky. And uh, I know uh, many uh, uh, American dancers, mm. USA dancers, mm. uh, came to Japan, yeah, came right? To Japan, yes. And leave. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, Brooklyn Terry, right? Yeah, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Terry, Terry yeah, lives yeah, in, in uh, Japan. Tokyo, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tony Gogo. Yeah. And. Many, many, many dances. Many, many dances. Yeah, yeah because... Yeah, uh, interesting. Yeah, because... Uh, when the first generation of Japan, they they try to create a community mm-hmm. first. So they start doing the dance studio, and also they try to... They start organizing the competition or events. So first of all, these events start inviting the people from the US. So that's what the people start know about the Americans. So then, all the footage, the video from this event, is is spread out to the fans. Mm-hmm. So that's why the people watching about the New York dancers, they performing in Japan. Yeah. So that's the process, like yeah. America and Japan and Europe. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Actually, Japan is very. Yeah, it was very fast. Uh, the people invite the U.S. people, like American people, dancers, uh, very early. Yeah. And also, like for example, if you said, if it's a b-boy community, so also Japanese that event is already start to bring the European b-boys too. You know, mm-hmm. it's like starting mm-hmm. very early. Mm. Well, um, um, I think uh, we finish. Mm, yes. Okay. Yeah. And um, thank you for. Information. Thank you for <laughs> thank you very uh, much. Yes. Exchange. Yes. Yeah. And um, I really glad to see you in Chibaxery. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm well, I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. Yes, yes. Ten years ago, I I can't. Uh, yeah. I can't. <laughs> can't yeah. I can yeah. imagine. Yeah. Because. You uh, first in, uh, first house dancer mm. who inspired me, um. and um, people ask me about when you start, uh, mm. why you mm. start house mm-hmm. dance. Mm. Uh, I I ask I yes. yeah about yes. about you. Yeah. I uh, tell him. <laughs> I watch Hero <laughs> in a Jus de Boo and wow. uh, I start dance because he was incredible. Wow. And you incredible ah, thank you. today. Ah, and thank you. Yeah. Wow, it's, it's so for me it's so pleasure to hear like this story. Even like I'm still I cannot believe I'm traveling a lot to teaching the house dance mm-hmm. or even like on whatever like how to do dance. Because I understand uh, when I meet uh, Lisa easily, mm-hmm. and she was talking about she's from countryside and all this, and talking about you and you mm-hmm. know this. But the situation of her of her is similar to me. Mm-hmm. Like you know, it's like my hometown in Japan is like really countryside. It's nothing going on, and from from there, I was traveling to New York and I do keep doing dancing and I still going to travel in different countries and finally I came here mm-hmm. and I meet many people and they already know about me and blah 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 so I was like I cannot really I cannot also re- imagine like this you know mm-hmm. I I've never thought I'm gonna be like this mm-hmm. so I'm really happy and uh, this is my motivate, you know, I want to keep mm-hmm. going on to spread out to this and uh, yeah, I just want to push, I just want to support for this culture to spread out, to survive yeah, mm-hmm. everywhere in the world, even not in the big city, mm-hmm. it's a small city, 
in maybe deep Russia. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's very beautiful. It's very, it's incredible. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Uh, and I need, uh, I need your tag in this wall. Uh, yes, yeah. yes. I'd love to. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so <laughs> maybe here, here? Yeah. Yep, okay. So I don't have any autograph. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thanks. 